In the words of Jerry Rick, everything, today I bring you yesterday's technology at tomorrow's price. This is the iPhone 16 Pro Max, the flagship, the best of the best iPhones current on the market. And if you are currently an owner of the 2020 or most say 2019 iPhone XS Max, is it worth for you to upgrade from this to this? Let's find out. In this video, I'm going to show you how I, why I like this phone, why I kept it for so long, and why I decided to upgrade at this point to the iPhone 16 Pro Max, despite all the complaints we've seen in the internet about the lack of changes or in a, using probably the most common word is the lack of innovation in the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. So I've been using this phone since it was uh, released. I think it was 2019 and uh, I bought it in uh, 2020, somewhere in 2020 <coughs> and uh, I've kept it since then. It has been very reliable and uh, the only, I would say, the only disappointment uh, I started to get with this phone is the fact that it started to heat too much and I think it was a consequence of the battery being degraded uh, over the years. Especially uh, in the last 12 months, it, it kind of uh, struck me the most. Uh, last summer it heated uh, a lot of times and up to the point where uh, it became uh, almost unusable and I had to stop. Now clearly you might say that if I upgraded the battery <coughs> the problem would, would be sorted out. The problem I have uh, in upgrading um, almost five years old phone with a new battery is the fact that <coughs> most likely the battery that will be fitted into this phone will not be absolutely new although in the package they would claim that it is new and uh, most likely will not have the same quality and perfection that was built in the phone when it was first released and, uh, and that's why probably I didn't upgrade the battery until now. One of the good things that I've liked in this phone was definitely the build quality. The smooth edges, the glass front back, the camera, uh, instant, uh, instant shots with good quality, enough quality, but um, I was starting to get uh, over the last months as I've started to make more uh, videos for uh, YouTube for this uh, channel. I started to notice that the quality wasn't uh, wasn't there. It uh, wasn't quite uh, near uh, the iPhones 12 or 13. It's getting it was getting behind. Let's put it that way. So. And that was probably one of the reasons I've decided to um, to upgrade to the new iPhone. So one is probably the fact that this is getting old. Uh, secondly, uh, was um, the camera that was um, starting to lag too much uh, to when compared with the current technology. But uh, other than that, software-wise, performance-wise no complaints whatsoever okay so with that being said this uh, was or these were the main reasons why i'm upgrading to this why specifically upgrading to the iphone 16 pro max and not upgrading to the iphone 16 plus well uh, one is the um, 
the the camera setup okay which uh, is uh, very important for me as i plan to use this phone for many years i don't plan to change it uh, anytime soon and um, and uh, secondly it i think it is the um, the model that offers the biggest um, battery life so without further ado let's have a look to the new iphone 16 pro max here and uh, let's yeah let's start it to open the box let's first remove this If it is definitely genuine iPhone, it should um, slide from the box at a very controlled and soft place. Well, that wasn't soft at all. Well, let's see. Probably it isn't real. Who knows? Well, it's interesting at the first glance that once you open the box, you can see uh, from the lenses um, something going on inside. Okay, you actually, I don't know if the camera can capture that, but you can actually see inside what's happening. It's a little bit strange, a little bit awkward, but um, yeah, I will give it uh, the benefit of the doubt. inside so I've chosen the natural titanium because I think uh, is um, a change from the the black one I had okay for a change I really like this soft um, and natural titanium I think for a change I think is a good move uh, kind of tired of about of the of the black one and um, yeah and probably wood um, will be a, a better adaptation in the coming months so um, first feel and touch so um, is not desperately heavy um, it is more heavy definitely but um, it feels more solid I think is the edges that give that extra confidence and um, yeah, the buttons are really there, so they they feel more solid than the, the older models, definitely. Um, and um, yeah, and uh, definitely yeah, it feels nice in the hand. It's not heavy. It's not crazy heavy. I would say. With the old one. It's, yeah. uh, it's not crazy heavy, it is not crazy big as you can see here. I think the only massive difference is the bezels. The fact that the bezels are more uh, edged to edge, it kind of, um, you know, it um, kind of makes the phone bigger but without being bigger, let's put it that way. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take the screen protector. Okay, let's put it here. You know, uh, for me that I have big hands, uh, it doesn't really feel like a big phone. It feels like a, a normal phone, I would say. So uh, for someone that was used to use this, as you can see, it's not big of a difference. And um, yeah, and let's turn it on. Let's see if it has some juice on it. Okay. So yeah, it, it kind of gives you a little diff, different um, uh, sensibility. So the glass and this metal uh, edge, it's, it's definitely different from this one. Uh, but this 
sort of like titanium or you know, I don't know if this is real or not, but kind of feels good, but um, I don't know, it feels lighter, it feels more maneuverable compared with this, I don't know, this feels also lighter, but it's a different way of picking up the phone. Um, so yeah, this, there you have, this is the unboxing and comparison, the why and the the reasons why I've changed from the iPhone X Max um, to the new iPhone 16 uh, Pro Max. Um, definitely uh, looking forward to uh, make another video to show the, the you know what has been the, my experience and definitely to take some comparison videos between this and between this and call, you know show you guys what is a picture taken from a five-year-old phone compared with today's technology or at least yesterday's technology at tomorrow price see you next time